The approvals capability makes it easy for anyone who needs to provide approvals to access the system. A short tour is provided to get you familiar with how to move around the app. Tasks are initially arranged in a chart showing most recent to older. Touching one of the bars or the icons at the bottom takes you to the list of waiting approval tasks. As you can see, I have a number of items waiting on my input. I can drill into the detail for the items I want to handle right now. This shows me the approval form for this particular task. I can see the specifics by touching the ticket icon at the top. This provides me with the information for the change order or request. If I need further information, touching the link for the phone numbers calls up the phone dialer, and touching an email address will allow you to send email or text messages. Moving back to the task, altering the drop-down values or entering a quick comment makes short work of the waiting approval. In this case, we'll place it on hold since the Sugar CRM rollout is not quite ready to be released from QA. You can use either the keyboard or the voice recognition to fill in any of the data fields, but I'll use the keyboard this time around. This brings us back to the other tasks waiting for us to approve them. The menu at the top right provides a number of navigation shortcuts. And that's really all there is to it. It's simple.